Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln. Hey, in this video we're going to show you how to make this kind of corrugated metal and how to bend it and transform it. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start by deleting this. We're going to add a box. Now I prefer this technique using the box instead of the plane. And the reason being is we want to use this and have a little thickness, especially if you've, it's something you want to um, sculpt and then print like we may do with something like this later. Now I've used the gizmo to squeeze it down. I can use the wire. Now this has a lot of vertices at it. You can see it has over 2000 vertices. So we're gonna bring that way down because what you'll, what you'll come to learn pretty quickly when you're using the array functions or any of the repeaters, your vertices can get very big very quick, your numbers. So we're gonna keep it down a lot lower. Now. Depending on what pattern you want to do, we're just going to do kind of a standard pattern. You can unlock the topology and bring these down on the Y. That way we're not using nearly as much topology. You can see we're down to 68 from over 2000. Makes a huge difference. Okay, go ahead and validate that. And we're going to grab the select mask and mask a few. We're going to leave it on symmetry and we're using the rectangle mask. And with the symmetry is nice because it'll it'll do nice parts for us. Okay, now with this, we're going to tap on the outside and switch it. And it doesn't really matter which way you go. And you can see here, you, you can go either direction and get a nice pattern. And you can do, do it however you want. So we can go this way, and that's a nice one. But it'll be kind of upside down, depending on which way you want to go. So there you go, that's kind of your, your standard overlap. All right, so go back to select mask, tap outside, we can switch again if you want. And that makes a pretty nice pattern and it's pretty easy to see what, what we've got going on there. Okay, now if you want to round this, I'll show you like if you're doing a rounded corrugated, you could do an even pattern. And all you have to do is come in here and subdivide and then, whoops, subdivide go into gizmo and you can see that it goes to a round pattern and it'll be on the ends you end up trimming the sides off which is easy to do but that gives you a nice round pattern but we're going to leave it as the rectangle pattern or the square edge anyway go to the mask we're going to drag on the outside and we're clear so it gives you a nice pattern we're going to go ahead and extend this up. So let's go back into the scene menu, add an array. And we're not going to use that one. We're going to turn off the fit inside. We're going to increase the Y count and just bring this down. And you can overlap them, whatever you want to do, however you want it to go. And we'll just go like that tall for like a single sheet. And here, we can go ahead and validate and we can join the children this time and we can turn off the wire we don't need it anymore now if you go in we can completely add another array and now you can just build up a wall so I'll bring this down now you want to kind of come in so you can kind of see how you want to change your pattern or add it however you want to do it so that looks pretty good right there and it's an easy way to make a ton of corrugated material. So then, oops, I got it fit inside, so turn that off. And we'll adjust that again just a little bit. Bring up a few more. Okay, so easy to do. We can go and validate this. Now in this way, if you wanna bend some or tweak them, like I'm gonna show you here in just a second, you wanna keep your instances that way <clears throat> You have individual sheets of material. So we'll just hit confirm. Now you can grab each individual one. So we'll grab one in the middle here. And let's see, let's turn on outline so you can kind of see which one I'm at. All right, so you can just grab each individual one now. In the move, we'll go to move so we could tweak these. Um, first, I guess we can paint them all. So let's go over and grab the material grab any one of these we'll grab the iron bring the roughness up and paint all and now you have kind of a corrugated sheet metal look 
of galvanize on it. Okay, now we can grab the move tool and I'm gonna show you what I have. This is an alpha and I'll put a link to my alpha video in here. This is just a quick alpha and this way, just a black and white with a jagged line on it. Easy to make wrinkles and crinkles in this. Now you can see all of them did it at once. Now, if you don't want that, you have to come in and uninstance these. So we'll grab the one we want, and I'm just going to hit uninstance. And you can also do the uninstance if you, depending on which one you hit when you validate. Um, you can keep the instance or not, however you want to do it. And this one, so we can just kind of pull down, pull over. And you can bend, bend it up if you want, tear it, however. This makes it really easy to change up your material and give it some work it a little bit. Oh, and I know what I've done wrong here. We need to go back. I forgot to make sure this is still uninstanced. Uninstanced. And we need to bring the resolution up a little bit. Keep edges sharp and remesh it. And then when we go to move, we'll have a little bit more movement and you can see there I got this weird X so we'll turn off symmetry and now you can put in your bends and tears wherever you want to do just like that okay so you can bend it all up if you like and you remember you can just rotate a little bit and get different bends in there and like this one you can completely move these around, which is nice. So if you want to bend this one out a little bit and then give it a little bit more movement and we'll go up a little bit and move the entire thing in so you can give a lot more movement to it. Bend it all up if you want. All right. So that's basically it. Really quick and easy. You can make several different patterns. You can make them round. You can make them hard edge like this. It's all about how much you change your topology. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you in the next video. All right.